In this lesson, we will discuss several new smart improvement features available in Viri Next for Rhino that can greatly improve your workflow. Let's take a closer look here in our scene. The first thing you'll likely notice is that the render looks underexposed with a strong bluish tint. This is because we haven't set up any camera parameters yet. If we head to the camera parameters in the settings tab, we can adjust the exposure manually, but this is often a time consuming process of trial and error. In V-Ray Next, we've introduced a new way to achieve a desirable exposure in white balance simply by clicking the auto button. Let's start with turning on the auto exposure feature and do a render of the scene. As you can see, the image already looks a lot better now in terms of lighting and contrast. It also has proper exposure and all the interior details are clearly visible. But that's not all. We also have the ability to additionally compensate or tweak the auto exposure result further using the new compensation parameter. Setting this to a value of 1 makes the result twice as bright. Let's draw a render region and do a render to demonstrate. Respectively, if we draw another render region and set the compensation to negative 1, you'll see that the result will be twice as dark. Note that the compensation option is enabled only when the exposure is set to auto. Okay, let's return the compensation to zero. Now, the only thing left to correct here is the overall bluish tint of the image. Once again, we can easily fix this by enabling the auto button across from the white balance feature and then rendering the scene again. Keep in mind that in order to benefit from the auto exposure and auto white balance features, you need to be rendering in production mode rather than interactive mode. The light cache secondary GI solution also needs to be selected, as the light cache phase is used to calculate the exposure and white balance. Okay, everything looks as expected now. The color of our override material looks gray, and the additional lights in the scene maintain their intended color and contributions. With the new auto exposure and auto white balance features and just a few clicks, we now have much better lighting, colors, and contrast in our scene in a fraction of the time it would have taken to set this up manually.